Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. To subscribe, and today I'm going to be reacting to Dawa to Young Visitor Speakers Corner. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Yeah, yeah, you learn English. Yeah. Which one is cold here or Denmark? Uh, cold, yeah, cold. Like, uh, I think it's quite same. similar. Yeah. It's the same, yeah? It's quite similar. yeah? Okay, so why are you loyal? Do you, do you, do you believe in God? Yes, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> you believe God, there is God, there is a creator for the universe. Yeah. Are you Christians, by the way? Or just believe in God? I'm Muslim. I'm Muslim. You're Muslim, alhamdulillah. You're Muslim there as well, alhamdulillah. Who are you? Uh, well, uh, I'm a Christian. You're a Christian. Yeah. And uh, what country are you from? Yeah. Turkey. Turkey, yes. Uh, Who is it? Kurdash. You're Kurdash, Turkey. What is Kurdash for? Al Kurdash. Al Kurdash, sorry. Al -Kurdash. sorry. You do know what it means? You got surprised, but... Where are you from? Turkey. You are Turkey, mashallah. What I was going to say, so... There is many of you here, but I was, what do you know about Islam? Um, Other than uh, this, uh, that we go kill innocent people, which is not true. No. Uh, uh, almost nothing. Okay, we as Muslims, we believe in God, okay? Yeah. And sorry for taking your time. Thank you for giving me your time. No, we're supposed to stay here, so it's fine. Okay, thank you for it. So, alhamdulillah. So I'm going to speak longer then. <laughs> So we as a Muslims, we believe in God, okay, we believe there is a creator for this tremendous, beautiful universe and we believe based upon the creator's mercy and justice and wisdom, he chose people amongst us to teach us our purpose of life. Because the logic dictates, no one knows our purpose except the one who made us. For example, phone, again, if I make a phone and no one made a phone before me, no one will come to know why I made a phone except me, because I'm the first person to make a phone. Likewise, if we establish as a creator, which there's not any doubt, this tremendous universe indicate must be creator, okay? So therefore, logic dictate, we should go back to him and he will tell us our purpose of life. That's why the creator chose prophets and messengers, the likes of Moses, Jesus, Abraham. Are you familiar with these names? Yeah. yeah. Jacob, Isaiah, and the last of them is prophet Muhammad. And when God, because God is the most wise, and we can see clearly the manifestation of the effects of the wisdom of the Creator. For example, we have a teeth in our mouth. Why? Before we eat, we have to chew food. So if we just evolution, evolution, how come all of us we have teeth in our mouth? Why none of us has to have a teeth in his head or a teeth in your feet? Likewise, we have a nose next to our mouth. Why? Before you eat, you smell food. Imagine your nose was here and your mouth is here. You start working out, you know, like a gym. But look, you have eyebrows above your eyes. Why? Because the sweat contains the salt. If it keeps going to your eye, it will damage it. You have a joint in your elbows. Why? In order for us to give and take and to eat. So that indicates, that's why in the Quran, Allah said, within yourselves, there is a science for the existence of the Creator. So we should be grateful to Him. So when the Creator chose prophets and messengers, Based upon his wisdom, he gave them something that differentiated them from the rest of the people. Because some people will claim to be prophets of God, but they are liars. You with me? Okay? They are liars. So how do you know a true prophet and a false prophet? True prophets, let me ask you this question before I carry on, because I want to make sure you with me. Who knows the future in detail? Allah. Except God, yeah. Logically speaking, God. Like if I make a phone, no one knows about the phone in detail except me. You understand? So no one knows about this creation except God. You understand? So now the prophets, they prophesy about the future. I will give you some prophecies and I want to reflect upon it, which Prophet Muhammad said. Prophet Muhammad, who lived 1,400 years ago in the middle of desert in Mecca, he said there will come a time when you see the barefoot Arab man competing in building tall buildings. What well, you have to understand when the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that والسلام, the Arabs were not known to build tall buildings. Those who were known during those days, the Persians, the Romans, the Egyptians, the Greeks. Let me ask you this question. Where is the tallest building in the world? Dubai. Dubai. Dubai 50 years ago was a pure desert, let alone 1,400 years ago. 
So how a man that lived 1,400 years ago knew about something precisely, specifically detailed. Another one, Prophet Muhammad said there will come a time when the Arabs stop using the camels as a riding beast and they will use something as a box. Listen to this carefully. Something as a box that will carry them from their houses to the mosque with their wives. The question you ask yourself, we know the camels to the Arab man is like his wife, you know, like family. That's what they use all the time. But we know now, if you go to the Arab world, what they use? Cars. And the Prophet Muhammad, what he said? Like a box. So why, how he knew that? For example as well, let me give you this example. Do you know the Quran? The book, the holy book of the Muslims. The holy book of the Muslims, Allah mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago, that this book, Allah revealed it in the way will be easy for the people to memorize it. This question I will ask you, is there any book that you know, the size of the holy book for the Muslims, it has been memorized by 100 million of people? Do you know any book like that? Word for word, letter for letter? No. Except the Quran. Imagine, in, in, even Denmark, you have Muslims there. You know, Somali, Somalians, love Somalians there, mashallah. And Somalians, they're known to memorize the Quran. Allah mabarak, may Allah bless them. So, word for word, in, in Africa, in Europe, in America, Muslims memorize the Quran word for word, letter for letter. If Prophet Muhammad was a false prophet, how was he able to say the book that I came with will be memorized by everyone? That, that, that speech is a speech of the Creator who knows about his creation. Make sense? Okay, now let me ask you. Imagine I give, I give you two million pounds as a gift. What would you say to me at least? Thank you. Thank you. Two million pounds is a big money. You go to Denmark, you live a nice life. Nice house, nice car, nice wife, okay? Or nice husband, okay? For the, there's a woman here as well, okay? Now I will give you two million pounds on the condition, give me your two eyes. Would you do that? No, no go. Why? Because your eyes are more valuable than two million pounds. So why don't we be grateful to the one who gave us eyes for free? See, that's what Allah said in the Quran. If you try to count Allah's blessings upon you, you will never be able to do so. If someone come with a gun try to kill us, we will do anything to save our life because the life is so dear to us. So why we are not grateful to God? And all of us here, we should be grateful to God, correct? But the second question comes in, if you want to buy a gift for your mother, would you buy a gift that you love or your mother love? Your mother love. If you want to buy a gift for your mother, you have to ask her what she loves, correct? Likewise, if you want to be grateful and worship the Creator, you should worship Him the way He loves, not the way we love. Why? Because the way we love is subjective. The way He loves is objective. That's what Islam is based upon. When a person, because Islam, not like Christianity, Islam came for everyone. Prophet Muhammad was the last prophet who came for everyone. There were Muslims from the, even the time of Prophet Muhammad, there were Muslims from the Romans and the Byzantine. The Islam means that I testify that no one worthy of worship except God alone, Allah. And Muhammad is the messenger. What you have to understand, how old are you by the way? All of you 15, 16, unless, okay. All you have to understand, this life is very short. Regardless how old you are, one day you have to live this life. And we're going to die. And you'll be inside the grave by yourself. All of your friends here, they're not going to come with you inside the grave. All of us, I'm going to be inside the grave by, by myself. So we have to prepare ourselves for that day. That's why in Islam we believe Allah will not punish anyone until the proof has become clear to them. Allah said in the Quran, there is no one more unjust than the one who is reminded with Allah's signs and he turns away from it. Saying, you know, I don't care, I'm busy with life, I'm busy with PlayStation, I'm busy with internet. But you know, one day you have to live this life. And when the death comes to you, or to me, or to you, the angel of death will not ask you where you're from. How much money? You come take your life. So prepare ourselves for that day. Let me ask you this question. If you're traveling to a country you've never been there before, what would you do first? Have you been Morocco? Uh, no. Algeria? No, never. No. Okay, if I, if I want to go to Morocco, if you want to go to Morocco, what would you do first? You check which currency they use, correct? Is it cold country? Is it safe country? You will not say, when I get to Morocco, I will come to know. Likewise, the logic dictates one day for fact, guarantee we will die. Therefore, we should ask ourselves, 
why we have to die? What will happen to us? You never knew that you're going to meet us today. And look, by the decree of Allah, you meet us. So think about it. Don't let other people divert you from the truth because you'll be inside the grave by yourself. What I said so far, does it make sense? Is it clear? So why, why don't you become Muslims then? I watch how they're going to convert you, bro. We're going to put a knife, we're going to put... Keep your minds open, you know. Huh? I'm listening for the back. Yeah, let's see, of course, who said he's going to cross his mind? The fact, uh, alhamdulillah, we don't force no one. What you have to understand, what's your name? Magnus. Magnus, my name is Shamsi. What you have to understand, what I just did, I used intellectual proofs, which is based upon the prophetic tradition and the Islamic sources, and I gave it to you and you agreed with it. But now it's up to you to accept or to reject. I can't force you. But remember, what you can do is well, you can go back and think about it. Read about Islam, you know, and you can watch videos. And remember, your friends and you, remember, as I have mentioned, all of you here, you're going to be by yourself in the grave. So if you are happy to accept the truth, to become Muslim, and you have Muslim friends here, then Alhamdulillah, become Muslim. When you become Muslim, you don't have to fly. You don't have to go inside the ground, no. There's two testimony which is change your life. You, now you know what is your purpose of life. Our purpose of life not just to walk around or to smoke drugs or to just waste our time. No, there's a purpose for this life. Your kidney has a purpose. Your eyes has a purpose. Your nose has a purpose. What about you as a whole? Make sense? Clear? Alhamdulillah. So if you want to become Muslim, you know, you are more than welcome. Prophet Muhammad said, if a person becomes a Muslim, all his sins forgiven. And a Muslim, by the way, doesn't mean you're Arab. Okay? Because there's more Muslims who are non-Arabs than Arabs, you know? Muslim mean to submit yourself to God. Because I believe if I was alive at the time of Jesus, the only way to get to God by following Jesus' teaching, because Jesus was the way to God. Before G Jesus was Moses, now the last prophet is Muhammad, who I just showed you with the clear proofs that this man must be prophet of God. The fact that prophesies about many things and the book he came with, which is a guidance for mankind. Do you have any questions? You can uh, feel free. Uh, no. You sure? Nice speaking to you. It was nice speaking to you as well. Okay, do you have any leaflet that we can give them, we share with them? No, man. Okay. Anyway, you can check our channel. By the way, this will be like in DUS Dawa channel. So you can check it. We're not gonna edit nothing. Okay, DUS, D U S Dawa. Even the other brothers are recording as well on YouTube. So you can have many videos of mine there teaching the people about Islam. And uh, you give them Dawa as well. Huh? You, know, even that, I'm <laughs> you have to learn about Islam. Do you know, do you know about Islam? Yeah. So teach them. Uh, it's shy, it's shy. Right, right, right. What's your name? Serka. Serka, mashallah, mashallah. So when are you not going back? Sorry. When are you not going back to Denmark? Yeah. When? 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 Oh, when? Uh, the first, first of October. The first of October, yeah? Yeah. Okay, good, good. So, you know, it's very nice talking to you. you and thank you for giving me your time. And, uh, as I've mentioned, hopefully we'll see you soon. Maybe we'll see you another time. Maybe I'm going to come to Denmark. <laughs> we never know. Maybe I'll come. Huh? Inshallah, we'll go there. All right? But if, you, if anyone wants to accept Islam, you're more than welcome. If it makes sense. You want to become Muslim? Um, I think I'm, I'm not um, like... Uh, I'm not like religion. Yeah, but it, if it makes sense to you, you should yeah, accept yeah. it. It makes sense. And I understand that you uh, are. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm bad at English. No, no problem. I understand you, but I think that um, people uh, should do what makes them happy. Correct. And um, I, I'm not saying that it won't make me happy, but I'm happy. Uh, the way you are. Yeah. Yeah. But what, what you have to understand happiness is not because you eat or you smile. The true happiness when you are grateful to your God. Mm. But you've, you've been inspiring me. All right, thank you very much. Yeah. So you can, inshallah, you can uh, read more. I've read some leaflets here. Thank you very much. Look after yourself. Have a nice evening. Take care, yeah? Very interesting video. I feel like I've watched this, but I've never seen these faces before. I think Shams was using the same examples. Um, like the God end says, said you have to do what makes you happy you have to decide on a path that makes you happy i guess for now she doesn't but she's still young for now she's content with not being religious but i think with time she'll find what she's looking for 
we all find what we're looking for make sure to give this i mean before i even say that if you have any contributions feel free to comment and make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video